okay, sitting right here, and sartorius goes up this way. And probably the insertions of those three muscles are what most people are going to feel the most during this stretch. Okay. Inhale up. Now, let the legs come in just a little bit. I'm going to fix the carpet there. There we go. Now, right here, between your hamstring muscle and this muscle here, gracilis, there's a groove. And you'll find that groove, okay, and it's going to be tender in there. And that tends to be where toxins accumulate because gravity pulls them down. So what you do is you take your fingers and you dig and you move up towards the groin this way to move those toxins around. When I was a kid, I used to get home from karate and uh, I used to like to have a little bit of ice cream. Well, milk products make mucus and I found that my stretch was hampered by my body being very mucusy. When I would do this, it was very painful. There were a lot of bumps in here. So I stopped eating ice cream for a while and guess what? The bumps went away. Very interesting. Um, over time, I was able to fine-tune what I should and shouldn't eat. I can eat qu small quantities of yogurt, but in general, I avoid a lot of milk products. Um, if any of you are familiar with what's called the macrobiotic diet, and while I'm talking, we're still working on those toxins. Uh, one of the main things in the macrobiotic diet is to have no milk products, no mucus. And the macrobiotic diet has been credited with curing and helping a lot of diseases. You could Google macrobiotic diet and find out a little bit more about that. And then do the other side. And I just hold the foot for stabilization and I find that groove. And it's easy to find it when the leg's in a little bit of tension and I work this way, up, this way. Okay, then come back to the center. Watch this. Your ribs, relax them down. And bring your feet together. That actually helps relax some of the internal muscles that allow the legs to come in. If you keep your back up, sometimes you could feel strain in your leg. It's not necessary. Then bicycle your legs a little bit. And then take your hand, massage the knee, up higher on the quad and the other leg. Okay, guess what? We're going to do this exercise again where we bring the bottoms of the feet together. Um, usually in my stretching, I like to have one or two stretches that are the cornerstone to build from that I return to. Uh, this is a wonderful exercise and um, has a lot, of, a lot of good things that it could do for your body in addition to stretching both sides of your knee, your groin, your back. Uh, it, it can open up areas that just in daily life uh, will get injured. For example, opening up your car door. Okay, when you swing your leg out, a lot of people come to me as a chiropractor because they hurt their back doing that. Well, if they did this stretch, uh, they wouldn't have that problem. So, again, I'm going over certain areas uh, again and again, and uh, it's to show people where the benefits are in these stretches. Okay, so come forward. This time we're just going to go down as far as we can, and you'll find you're going to go down a lot easier now. A little further. 